So recently, Spotify for Artists just released a brand new video feature on its platform, and we really need to talk about it. But before we even get into that, I need to make it clear that today's video is sponsored by DistroKid. If you don't know, DistroKid is one of the biggest music distribution companies in the world, and they've helped millions of artists put their music into online stores and streaming services, including Spotify, TikTok, Apple Music, Pandora, Tidal, YouTube, you name it. And the cool part is they only charge $19.99 a year for unlimited uploads. Something I thought was cool with DistroKid is that they offer automatic payment splits. If you're someone like me that likes to collaborate with other artists, you wanna make sure that everyone is getting their fair cut and DistroKid helps you out with that. If you're interested in signing up with DistroKid today, this is what you do. Follow the link in the description of this video and it will get you 7% off on the first year's membership. Okay, back to what we was originally talking about, right? If there's something that people have complained about when it comes to Spotify, outside of the payout rates for artists and bands, right? Has been the lack of the ability to engage with our followers or engage with our listeners, which makes this new feature, this new video feature very, very interesting to me. Well, me and my friends noticed that this mysterious video beta tag just showed up on our Spotify artist account. And it's obvious that right now this feature is in the beta stage, but that didn't stop me from testing it out. Just because they ain't give no instructions. Hey, if you release it in my eyes, I should be able to try it out. And that's exactly what I did. And I'm about to show y'all what I did. Okay, so I get to the video beta tab and I click on it and it gives me some instructions. So it seems like that the actual dimensions of the video is already given here. It seems like it needs to be in story dimensions, right? So nine by 16. Um, it needs to be at least three to 30 seconds. All right, no problem. Uh, give it a, give it a title. Let's do that. Run test. Um, we're not gonna do this because you're telling me it's optional. Uh, so after it's done processing and loading, your video is going to be right here. So the issue that I had, I was thinking, all right, that's cool. The video's here, but where is it going to show up? And I was clicking around my Spotify and I did not see this video. Well, about 20-ish minutes later, not on the app version on your browser, but on my actual phone, it popped up and you actually had to scroll down to find said video, and here is said video. Now again, this is a brand new feature. It's in beta mode for some people. They've been having upload issues and getting errors, and I've gotten it once or twice, but it eventually popped up. So honestly, what does this even mean? Because it's obvious that it's in the beginning stages. Honestly, I don't think we know. I don't think we really know. We haven't been given too much information about what this new feature is supposed to actually do, but I do have a couple thoughts on it. Number one, we finally get something that allows us to be visible to our listeners and our fans. It allows us to actually communicate back. Uh, kinda. Two, if Spotify somehow ends up using this feature as like a discovery mode, discovery feature for new listeners trying to find new music, this could be super, super dope. That's just something that's going through my mind. And if that is the case, then artists, bands, producers, etc., should definitely take advantage of this before other people start finding out about it. Three, I'm already gonna let you know right now because of the time frame of the videos needing to be three in between three seconds to 30 seconds, performance videos, covers, freestyles, beat mashups are gonna be perfect for this. Like I'm already seeing it happen, especially considering it's in the format. Uh, the video format is, is in, I'm repeating myself. The format is in story uh, mode and in TikTok mode, right? Nine by 16. So this will be perfect for those of you that have uh, performance videos, lyric videos, all that type of stuff. Well, maybe not lyric videos, but performance videos, freestyles, covers, all that other stuff. I think this is cool right now, but again, it's a brand new feature and we really don't know much about it outside of that. So let me know in the comments, what do you think about this feature? Do you think it'll actually be you know, beneficial? And what do you think Spotify is going to be using for it. 